an entire village in Germany has been taken over by neo-Nazis. Mm -hmm. All right, and the name of the village is Yamel, and it's in northeastern Germany. And um, it is actually this whole neo-Nazi movement in that particular village is led by a guy by the name of Sven Kruger. Mm -hmm. All right, and what he's doing is he's basically inciting violence in the village. So people who are not neo-Nazis move out. And then he's encouraging his neo-Nazi friends to move in. And it's gotten so bad that the local authorities are doing nothing about it. Yeah, and look, here's uh, part of the problem. Uh, once uh, you do that, then the property values for that area, of course, is great, are greatly reduced. And so now the people don't want to move out because they can't sell it because the whole uh, village is, you know, or 70% of it is neo-Nazis. Mm -hmm. uh, but that allows the neo-Nazis to buy it for really cheap. Right? And so there's an economic reason behind the intimidation as well. And the intimidation involves w somebody bought a house, and before they moved in, they burned it down. Yeah. So, I mean, this is not, they're not playing around, okay? We got right-wing issues here in America. They got massive right-wing issues, at least in, in that uh, town in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's not just that. They'll you know, throw stuff at the house, the break-ins, et cetera, et cetera. There's one couple that's staying there through thick and thin. Yes. And um, it's the low mayors, uh, Horst and Bridget Lohmeyer. And, you know, regardless of the violence that, that's occurring in that village and regardless of everything that's happening, they refuse to move. But a lot of nights they stay up and they fear for their lives because, you know, they'll have these parties, the neo-Nazis will have these parties where they're just jamming to neo-Nazi rock music, uh -huh. right? The little kids in the village are doing the Hitler hand sign. Man, I, it's that's crazy. right out of a scary movie, man. Uh, so God bless them for staying there, but... No, not it. God bless them for staying but there. No. Move out. No, no, for having the courage to do that. But if it was me, I'll be honest, man. Whoever wants to stay, stay, stay. Whoever wants to run, run, run. I mean, look, prob you lost property value, whatever it is, principal. I'm not going to sit around with a bunch of neo-Nazis surrounding me and, you know, them doing all these threats, et cetera. It's crazy, man. Uh, and so, I mean, it sucks to give in to the intimidation. And, and you know, I love their courage that they haven't. But, right. I mean, there's a bounds of reason to this thing. I, I mean, to give you a sense, like these guys, of course, some of the signs you saw there, uh, at the entrance of the town, they say how many miles it is or kilometers it is to Hitler's house. Uh, and they invested in a company, the yes. sign of the company. Let me just tell you. So um, the leader of the neo-Nazi movement in this uh, area. Kruger, Sven Kruger. <laughs> Sven Kruger. Uh, he actually owns a demolition company, right? And, how appropriate. Uh, right. Yeah, he's scary. All right, so he owns this demolition company, and the company logo shows the outline of the Star of David being smashed, and the slogan is, we do the dirty work. Oh, disaster. Total, utter disaster. Look, German authorities, here's the thing. I mean, and, and you know, I, I'm not saying to go arrest them for being neo-Nazis, right? You know, obviously laws in Germany are different than they are here in the U.S., but I, as a general principle across mm -hmm. the world, I believe in freedom of speech. I don't believe in the freedom to burn people's house down. The minute they burn that house down, I'd have gone, I'd have said, all right, it's on, okay? We are going to spend every resource we have making sure we find out who did this, and then we're going to put them away, and, you know, we're going to be the cop that stops it. Right. Okay? Because that's not playing around stuff. That's, you know, none of this is playing around stuff. They got to get to work. They got to do some police of work. Of course, here. of course. And look, yeah, you can't arrest them for being neo-Nazis, right? But you can arrest them for burning someone's house down. Of course. Of so course. I don't understand why that hasn't happened yet, but, you know. Right. Uh, okay. Well, uh, we're trying to do more world news. So uh, German authorities, we're on to you, okay? Get to work. Get stepping. Jake.